strange and charmed ones welcome back to my channel for another video today I've got a sort of special look for you guys at a new planner that I recently received um, that's actually not a file facts and it's not a Kate Spade and it's not a Kiki K but it is a Franklin Covey planner now Back in December, um, at some point a few weeks ago, I had seen a video made by one of my favorite planner people on YouTube, Miss Vicki B, where she basically was asking the planner community, like, why don't we talk more about Franklin Covey binders? Now, for those of you who don't know, Franklin Covey is a sort of productivity business brand that is based in the U.S., um, and they do create planners that are similar to a Filofax. Um, so they're like a US-based version of Filofax. For the most part, their planners are pretty similar. You can get planners that are like A5 equivalent, personal size equivalent. Some of their different binders have slightly different ring configurations, um, which if you are familiar with Franklin Covey, you may know that already. Um, but if you don't, like some of the Franklin Covey binders are equivalent with Filofax and some of them aren't. Um, but yeah, basically I watched this video from Miss Vicki B. And at the time, a few weeks earlier, I had been doing some research in other planners and I had come across um, a really pretty Franklin Covey planner that I was actually thinking to myself, wow, that's a beautiful planner. Um, and I was like, oh, should I get it? You know, I, I love my file facts, but I really like the way this planner looks. Um, so when I saw Vicky's video, I decided, you know what, I think I'm just going to go for it and order this binder. And just to sort of like a little aside for you guys, when it comes to my planners, I consider that I have my system completely set up. Um, if you guys have seen my um, Planner Nirvana, my Planner Peace blog post or YouTube video, I'll go ahead and link it below. I am completely set with my overall setup. Um, but for me, my binders, the extra binders that I have and the extra binders if I ever buy another one like I did with this one, you know, they're just to me like accessories, like um, a new purse or a new pair of shoes. Um, they're just something that I can put my current system into. So when I buy a new binder, it doesn't necessarily mean that I've got another one that I'm using for another purpose. All of my other binders that are unused are literally just sitting unused in, you know, in boxes being taken care of in my bookshelf. Um, and I just switch them out as I need to, um, you know, if I want to, you know, use my hot pink floral, or if I want to use a Kiki K, or if I want to use a different planner, I've got different binder options. So I went ahead and I did order the Franklin Covey planner that I saw, and I want to show it to you guys now. And I'm going to, after this little brief overview, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a close up of the binder as well, so you can see a little bit more detail. But this is the binder. Okay, so this is a personal Filofax equivalent, more or less. And when I say that, I mean that the, the rings inside will hold my Filofax personal size pages. In fact, it does. As you can see, I've got this planner all filled up um, with my inserts that were in my fluoro pink. Um, so really, there's only a few little differences, really, that are mostly cosmetic, in my opinion, um, that make this planner different than, let's say, a Filofax or Kiki K. It's really just, like I said, cosmetic differences. Um, and we'll go into those a little bit more when we do like a little overview and, you know, I'll walk you through the planner. But yeah, this is, I forgot to tell you the name of it. Um, this is called the Macaroon. How appropriate is that, you guys? Because, you know, I love macaroons and Parisian things. And as you can see, it is just this beautiful black pillowed planner. I, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't very inexpensive. I do want to let you guys know that. Franklin Covey is like a higher end brand when it comes to planners the same way that Filofax is. They do have both leather and non-leather planners. This happens to be a non-leather, um, but it was still pretty pricey. Um, and really for the quality, I'm actually really not surprised that it's as pricey as it is because I do think that this is a really high quality planner, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, this is the macaroon binder. You can see it's just 
I just like as soon as I got this you guys I literally moved into it I wasn't sure what I was gonna think about it when I first purchased it but when it arrived I knew I had to move in so let me go ahead and stop yammering and I will go ahead and give you guys an overview of this very beautiful planner okay so here is a close-up overview of the Franklin Covey macaroon binder and this is obviously in a black color, although on the Franklin Cove Covey website, there is a uh, color that is like a reddish orange tone almost. Um, so this does come in more than one color, but it looks like just black and red are it. Um, so as you can see from the outside of this planner, um, it really has a very unique look to it. Um, this isn't actual leather, it is um, faux leather. Um, but I have to say that when you hold this in your hand, um, it does really give off a real buttery sort of really good fake leather feel. Um, as you can see, it almost has a sheen to it, uh, but not in an overly plastic way uh, that sometimes fake, love, fake leather can look overly plastic. And I think that may be because the stitching um, through this quilted pattern is actually just so well done. I'm actually really impressed with the quality of this binder overall. It is a little pricey. Um, I believe it's somewhere at the $80 mark, but it is very, very well done. Like I would say this is a really high quality planner. So you're really getting your money's worth. Definitely something that would be a real competitor for Filofax, um, especially if you're in the US and you don't really have access to Filofax. I know that sometimes the shipping for some of the more expensive Filofaxes can be astronomical. Um, so, you know, this is actually a really reasonable price for a planner that is so well made, in my opinion. So other than um, the exterior, which I said is quilted, as you can tell, and just a really beautiful sort of quilted pattern as well. I don't feel like I've seen this very often, this sort of triangular pattern, um, and then like, you know, well, diamonds and triangles kind of together. It really sort of gives something of a classic, almost art deco feel, but definitely something that's totally professional and usable for, obviously, day-to-day -day life in our modern world. Um, something else that I thought was just a beautiful detail, and I'll bring it a little closer so you can see. Hopefully that's coming in. There's actually a little button on the strap um, that is a little flower that reminds me very much of the camellia flower Chanel is known for. As you can see here, I've got a little Chanel camellia flower here um, to kind of give you guys an example, but I have to say that I think Franklin Covey did a really good job with this planner. It is absolutely stunning, and it really does kind of evoke that sort of like high style, very classic and elegant feel that a company like Chanel also conveys. So obviously this isn't Chanel. We're not talking about it being anywhere in the same range, but it definitely has that really like high end feel in my opinion. So when you pop this open, and go to the inside. You guys can see a little overview of how I've kind of laid it out. I'm not gonna be going into um, the actual inserts in the planner because nothing has changed with my setup in here from the last video you saw with my setup, which was my hot pink, uh, the fluoro pink file of facts. So one of the things that actually makes these Franklin Covey planners a little bit different um, than the standard Filofax planners is that this size specifically, the compact, although it does have the same six ring layout that Filofax uses, the pages within a Franklin Covey system are actually a little bit wider. Now, to be completely honest, I bought this binder only. I didn't buy any inserts because I knew that my current inserts would fit and I knew I really wouldn't have a use for Franklin Covey specific inserts. But I do really like how within this planner, my pages really seem to lay in here and still give me a little bit of room on the edge so that my pen isn't crowding my tabs. That's something that I'm really, really excited about with this planner because I think that it looks really good um, having the pen not be sitting on top of my tab. So if you're someone who has a problem with their planner always crowding their tabs, this may be um, a good option for you. Now you may have noticed that I've been pushing this side of the planner down. That's because currently this planner does not lie flat. I'm sure that I could get it to lie flat, um, but I think the fact that this is like a faux leather and not a real leather, um, 
Also combined with the fact that I'm sure it's built to actually be a little bit harder and um, kind of prone to not bending. Uh, but I do think that it, I could get it to lay flat if I wanted to, but that is one difference. But it does lay pretty well flat. Like it's not like I have a problem with it. Just kind of this part just kind of stands up a little bit currently. So something I really like about the Franklin Covey interior is the way that the business card um, and all the different slots are laid out. As you can see down here, there is a little window viewfinder for business cards or something like that. Right now I just have my, my Strange and Charmed business cards in here. Um, and that is one, obviously, business card or credit card slot. And then it has an additional one, two, three, four. So five total slots. Um, four of them are just standard business card slots. And then one of them is a longer slot, um, which you can see here I have like some things just poking out for decoration. And, and in the business card slots, instead of actual business cards, I do have some other little decorations and things like that. Um, and there is also a nice big deep pocket in here as well that I'm using to store some more of my stickers and different things that I like to keep in my planner. So overall, I would say that this has a really good layout um, for storage, especially if you wanted to use this to store different sorts of goodies. Like I said, I've got some like page flags here and I also have some page clips and different things just to kind of like spruce up the interior because I will say um, the only thing that I'm not super thrilled about with this planner, but I did know it was coming this way, um, is the interior here is just a plain black. Now that's absolutely fine. It is sleek. It's completely business-like, but I really feel like it would have looked even better if Franklin Covey had used like a cream or another color, like the cream that maybe is on their snap for that flower. I think that would have given a nice pop um, of color on the inside. But like I said, it's really just a personal thing and it really doesn't matter that it's black inside um, with the faux leather as well inside. And you can see all of the stitching and things like that are nearly perfect on the interior of the planner as well. So you can really tell that this really is a nice high quality planner. Now flipping all the way to the back, there are a few more little details. First, of course, is the pen loop, which is non-elasticized. That is something that is a little bit, again, of a little downer um, in the planner, but I guess, you know, it does look better that the material for the loop actually matches the interior of the planner, but this is a really small pen loop. As you can see, I just have a cross, um, one of those thin clickable pens in the pen loop right now because to be completely honest, it's one of the few pens that I use that actually fits in here. Some other pens that do fit in here are my Le Pen as well as my uh, 0.38 friction pen. Um, so this is really going to require slimmer pens in this pen loop. Now I have seen tutorials where people were actually able to stretch out their pen loops and of course I could always get one of those stick-on pen loops and put it to the back of my planner somewhere so that I could have, you know, an elasticized pen loop. Um, but that's just something to keep in mind with this planner. Now also back here, there's another matching deep pocket um, in the back, just like you saw in the front. And I really think that these pockets, one of the things that's really great about this width of this planner is the pockets are so deep that you can really put a lot in there, which I think is really useful. And then the final organizational element here is another little pocket that is uh, like a business card slot down here. And then you've got the Franklin Covey logo down here, kind of out of the way, which I really like that it's not like branded on the side or on you know the back or even on the front of the planner like some other companies have their brands kind of you know really showing. The Franklin Covey is a little bit more subtle of a logo and it's in a really good place um, in my opinion. So the final thing that I guess I should talk about in the inside of this planner is the rings. Um, I have to say that I really am impressed with the quality of these rings. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, I may have to like switch, yeah. Let me go ahead and flip to the center of my planner here. But as you can see, these rings are super duper tight. Um, and if I were to open this up, as you can see, I've got it open here, and I actually do have this stuffed really, really well. Um, because the rings are actually just 0.8 of, 0.8 of an inch, um, which is, you know, relatively small, uh, but not too small. Uh, but as you see, when I go to close this, let's listen to it snap, because it really does have a nice snap, um, and it really does close very well. 
So you hear that? That was a nice tight snap, which I think is really great and really speaks to the quality of the rings and the quality of the planner overall. So one final thing that I wanted to go over with you guys about this planner now that it's closed, um, is give you sort of a size comparison against some other popular planners. As you know, I have been using my Fluoro Pink Vilofax original um, for a quite some time now since I received it this fall. And you can see here, when I line them up, that the Franklin Covey planner, like I said, is just a little bit wider. Um, it's also just the hair taller, just a, just a sliver taller, but it is like a good half of an inch wider, I would say. Now you can look up the exact dimensions, but as you can see, like I can stick my whole thumb there and you can see it between the Filofax and the Franklin Covey. So, you know, like I said, it's gonna give you more room on the sides to work with tabs. Um, and I actually really do prefer this wider layout on the planner as opposed to the slimmer layout of this planner. Not that I have anything negative to say about this planner, this Filofax one, because I do think it's wonderful and great, but I really do like the proportions of this one better. And another planner that it really reminds me of that I said the same exact thing um, about this planner is the Kiki K time planner. This is the Kiki K's personal size equivalent, their medium time planner. As you can see, it's nearly identical in width to the Franklin Covey. And one of the things I loved about this planner, um, I believe I even said it in my setup video for um, this planner earlier in the fall of 2014, that I really love the width. I just think that it gives a really good proportion overall to the planner. Um, it really you know, gives you a lot to hold on to. And I just kind of like this more squared, rectangular as opposed to the longer rectangular look um, that this planner specifically from Filofax has, but plenty of other planners also have the same dimension where it's clearly rectangular and it's clearly longer than it is wide. With the Franklin Covey and with the Kiki K, it almost gets closer to a square, um, which I actually, I, for some reason or another, I really like that. Um, so that's just a personal preference, again, of mine, but it does have that in common with the Kiki K, which is one of the things that I loved about the Kiki K. Okay, you guys, so that is my overview of the Franklin Covey Macaroon Binder. I hope you guys found this video to be as interesting and as informative as it was for me to actually discover this beautiful planner. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm sorry. If you hear squeaking or any noises down below, it's Starbuck. He um, is kind of been playing in my office and outside, and I, I really can't stop him from making these noises. So let's just power through. We're at the end of the video. So back to what I was saying. I was very excited that I actually found this planner um, and that it was so beautiful and. I just think that it's a really great option for people in the US as a real sort of competitor for the Filofax planners. And you know, I'm gonna go ahead and link Vicky's video down below in case you guys are interested in seeing it because she actually went into a lot of detail about Franklin Covey. Um, she really did her research um, before she did that video. So um, I will leave that down below so you guys can check it out. But one of the points that Vicky made that I would just love to reiterate in this video is that you know, these are more accessible to people in the US. Um, I'm not exactly sure how accessible they are to people overseas in the UK. I did do a quick search and it looks like Franklin Covey does work in the UK um, as well or work with the UK. So it's possible that you guys could get binders like this in the UK. I'm not 100% sure, but it looked like they had like a branch in the UK. But yeah, Vicky was basically saying, you know, why aren't we using these more in the US because we really don't have to deal with, you know, the sort of long wait from Filofax, um, from UK for certain binders, and they're just as pretty and just as functional. Um, and in a lot of cases, I have to be completely honest and reiterate her point as well, that their interior pockets are really, really well done. Um, there really is a lot of space, at least in this one that I've seen. And in her video, Vicky actually goes into one of her Franklin Covey binders that has a ton of space as well. So, you know, for us who, you know, planner addicts who love to like store a lot of things in our planners, these are really great options. Um, and if you're in the US, there's almost no excuse not to check out Franklin Covey. Um, because, you know, they really are a good competitor for Filofax in the US. And the good news is for some of the binders, um, like this one, which is a compact, they are actually interchangeable with Filofax inserts. So I didn't have to order Franklin Covey inserts. I had them and they fit. Um, and it all looks wonderful in my planner, in my opinion. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this overview of the Franklin Covey Macaroon Binder. Um, 
As always, go ahead and leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, give this video a like if you liked it. And subscribe for more awesome videos by me. And if you have a Franklin Covey binder, I would love to see any images of it that you guys have. So put an image up on Instagram or go ahead and tag me in any Instagram photos you have of Franklin Covey binders um, because I would really be interested in seeing those. So make sure to tag at Miss Trenchcoat. I'll make sure it pops up down here so you guys have the appropriate tag for me on Instagram. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.